Hello, everybody. Welcome. You're watching Scientific Taiwan. I am Lai Yishong, your host for the program. I believe many of us have kept fishes before. Keeping fish is interesting, but having to make periodic water changing is altogether a different issue. Taiwan's Haikyu Taiwan. Biotech International Limited has successfully invented a permanent zero water exchange recirculating aqua system. This technology has relieved aquaculture producers from pumping underground water and also enabled inland countries to start inland aquaculture of saltwater fish. More importantly, your home aquarium never needs to have its water changed again. In our program today, we'll be showing you this world's foremost technology. A fish farmer for the past 20 plus years, Ling Chi Sen has plentiful experience when it comes to the Taiwan talapia, also known as the mouth breeder. Tricks of the trade passed down from his grandfather's generation are rendered obsolete ever since Ling Chi Sen joined the ranks of aquaculture technology last September. More than just a fisherman, he is now an aquaculture technology fish farmer. The key lies in this secret weapon a small packet of biological agents. The contents of this packet of biological agents include more than 70 types of trace elements which can enable fish and the fish farm to recover to its natural state. Fish's excretory waste contains ammonia and nitrogen, which when decomposed by bacteria will produce poisonous nitrous acid. Nitrous acid accumulated in the enclosed fish farm will seriously affect the health conditions of the fishes. Hence, fish farmers have to annually sun the bottom of the pond to drain away water from the fish farm, remove the bottom layer of soil containing ammonia, made up of various microbiological bacteria, the biological agent can rapidly dissolve toxins in the water and ensure ecological balance. Fishes excrete waste material, which will affect water quality in the farm. In the past, we found that in certain areas of the farm, the nitrous acid or ammonia content are above the standard level. This will affect living organisms in the fish farm. But with the biological agents which I have tried for a year now, the results show that the levels are back to normal. Therefore, the water condition is pretty stable. Stable water condition ensures fish health and promotes growth. Ling Chi San rejoices over his harvest two months ahead of schedule. Times are changing. I will try some new equipment or use some biological agents if they can help us save fish farming time, increase our rate of return, and reduce fish sickness. The economic benefits of our fish farming will then be increased. Joining the ranks of aquaculture technology fisherman, Chen Dongchuan feels the same. Fish's excretory waste will cause the bottom layer of soil to stink and the level of ammonia to rise. Fishes will then have poor appetite and fall sick easily. Since we use this technology and formula, the fish farm needs only to be cleaned every two or three years rather than annually. The fish farm will not stink, fish meat will not smell of rotten soil, and fishes sell more easily. Cleaning the fish farm every two or three years can save us about 200,000 NT dollars. The increase in cost of farming with the use of biological agents has become its main drawback. Rather, far-sighted technology-based fishermen have a different view. By advancing harvest two months ahead of schedule, it can help save large amount of expenses on electric bills and fish feed, thus raising the entire rate of return. Advancing harvest by two months can save us more than $100,000 NT on fish feed, and two months of electric bills will also be saved. 
The average condition of the fish farm will be stabilized too. This will be a great boost to fish growth. Converting fish's excretory waste material into fertilizing biological agents, Taiwan's aquaculture technology also uses a recirculating water system. This is an aquarium in the fisheries agency. The water has not been changed in four years. This aquarium in the lobby has not had its water changed in four years. We have condensed this system into a small gadget known as the HiQ EcoMagic, including your home aquarium. Suppose you have to change its water, Washing the sand further adds to the hassle. Now all you have to do is place the gadget in both corners of the fish tank and start enjoying a zero water exchange aquarium life. This is a fish farm in Zhou Peng Ping Dong, culturing many groupers such as the giant grouper. These high economical value fishes, the fish fries alone can cost up to millions of NT dollars. Different from traditional fish farming techniques, a more complex and intensive fish farming technique is used here. Take for example this 470 square feet fish pond contains approximately 2,000 groupers. In other words, the control of any infection is largely dependent on the stability of water quality, which will affect the harvest of the entire fish farm. This fish farm utilizes the world's first zero water exchange ecological recirculating water technique. Zero water exchange simply refers to recycling the five tons of water needed by this entire farm through a man-made enclosed ecological system. The first stage is physical filtration, which is the filtration of fish's excretory waste material and fish feed residue, rubbish, and other solid materials. This physical filtration is followed by a biological filtration, which will convert water-soluble toxic materials harmful to the fishes, such as ammonia, NO2, into harmless nitrate. After the filtration processes, a large amount of microorganisms and bacteria is then introduced to the water to help it recover to its natural state. This recovered water will then be returned to the fish farm, thus setting up a circulation, an enclosed circulation. Imitating nature's self-cleaning mechanism, the evolutionary permanent zero-water exchange aquaculture system has allowed the aquaculture industry to march into a whole new green fish farming territory. To maintain a favorable water environment conducive to the health of the fish, the water, together with the fish's excretory waste pollutants, have to be flushed out. Before replenishing it with clean water, to maintain a favorable environment within the water body. We are ahead of the competition in terms of commercial production. In our Suzhou factory, we transported 30 tons of man-made seawater elements from Qingdao. In Suzhou, it is combined with more than 2,000 tons of seawater. That is certainly a zero-water exchange system because Suzhou is 300 kilometers inland. We mix 2,800 tons of water with salinity suitable for the groupers. We cultured 30 tons of groupers in that farm, the first of its kind. This technology is entirely a Taiwanese invention. The stability provided by a zero water exchange environment enables the same fish farm to culture more than five times the amount of fishes as compared to traditional fish farming. This water ecological recirculating technique saves water and land. Our entire fish farm is made up of approximately 14,400 square feet of pond area. We can farm up to 100,000 tails of tiger groupers or up to 60,000 tails of giant groupers. Such high intensive culturing will probably require 4 or 5 hectares of land area in ordinary outdoor fish farms in order to attain such fish volume. Investing in this facility reaps high profits and quick returns. This facility will definitely be an international shining star as well as our pride in the aquaculture industry. The Fisheries Agency has begun promoting recirculating water farming since the 1980s. The Fisheries Agency is currently promoting a new farming campaign. We emphasize on ecological fish farming, natural fish farming, or green fish farming. 
We hope that culturing density can be increased without using a lot of man-made control. Therefore, I believe circulatory water farming, this advanced technology, can be utilized in this area to help our traditional industry produce high-quality products suited to the needs of consumers. The most traditional fish farming industry, introduced with cutting-edge biological technology, will completely change our fish farming techniques and create boundless commercial possibilities. <laughs>